So Gabe surprised me. I was not expecting it whatsoever. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to this vlog. Today is Monday the 28th, so Christmas was a few days ago. I hope you all had a great Christmas. It's currently 12 p.m. and I'm going to make myself some breakfast. I slept in this morning. My alarm went off at 7.30, turned it off, and went back to sleep till 9 o'clock. And I have no idea why. I don't love the feeling of sleeping in because then you wake up feeling so groggy. I'm going to make myself an egg white scramble. I made this exact thing yesterday and it was so good. I'm going to use egg whites and then mix in some tomato. And this is a breakfast sausage that I really like. It's by the brand Applegate and it's chicken and herb breakfast sausage. It has no sugar added, which is something that I always look for. If I'm ever buying packaged foods like this, I always just look for a no sugar option. And then I'll melt some cheese into it too. We have friends coming into town this time next week and so I'm kind of getting the guest room already and stuff like that. One thing I needed to get was shampoo and conditioner, body wash, that type of thing. So I was just Googling and I wanted to find a cute looking one to like match the aesthetic of the bathroom. I found this company that I um, hadn't heard of before. I was looking through their products and I was like, wow, this is all so cute. Like the branding was really nice. Turns out they're an Australian company, which is funny because I'm very biased with Australian brands. I feel like Australian brands have a great aesthetic and really good products. I wanted to show you the branding and show you what I got because it just looks so cute. How nice and just simple and minimal is this branding? I wanted to get a really nice brand of soap and shampoo. I want it to be a whole experience when someone comes to stay. There we go. It looks so nice. And this is our guest bedroom at the moment. This is probably my favorite bedroom in the house. Like I like this bedroom better than our bedroom. I think I just put more thought into this one. All of the tones like match really well together. This is our hanging chair, which I love, but for some reason it, if it's just sitting still, it'll face that way, which I don't know why we need to get that fixed. I mentioned in my last vlog that I was doing a holiday giveaway on my Instagram. It had almost 150,000 comments, which blows my mind. I was not expecting that. If you guys didn't see the giveaway post on my Instagram, the last thing um, in the list of the things that you win was a $500 donation to a charity of your choice. So I thought I'd just quickly share um, the three places that they chose to donate to. So the first place is called The Mustard Seed, and their vision is to eliminate homelessness and reduce poverty where we serve. And then the second winner chose one called Mustard Seed Ranch. I just thought that was so crazy. Like, what are the odds that both winners that got back to me wanted to to donate to a charity called Mustard Seed. It's designed to take children out of unsafe environments and into loving, nurturing homes. Third girl got back to me and she wants to donate to a place called A21. A21 is abolishing slavery everywhere forever. Together, we are eradicating human trafficking through awareness, intervention, and aftercare. So I would share that because that was such a special part of the giveaway for me. Anyway, speaking of the giveaway, one of the brands that kindly gifted me a few things for the giveaway was Summer Fridays, who is also sponsoring this video, which is so crazy because I remember buying this summer Summer Friday's jet lag mask. I'm sure you guys have heard of this. I bought this years ago and I just thought the aesthetic was amazing. The branding was amazing. These were the products that were in the giveaway. The jet lag mask, the lip butter balm, and the CC Me Serum. If you don't know, Summer Friday's is a clean skincare brand. They're vegan and they're cruelty free. When it comes to skincare, I am usually pretty strict. I, I like keep to my everyday routine, but Every now and then I do like trying different products. I like doing masks and serums and stuff like that. So this CC Me Serum is something that I've been reaching for a lot when I want to use something that's different from my everyday skincare. So the serum has vitamin C and squalene, squalene in it. Um, so vitamin C is a natural brightener. So it reduces dark spots and hyperpigmentation. And then the squalene provides and locks in moisture. I could be saying that word wrong. Anyway, I've really been enjoying it. I love that it's a clean product. That is always what I look for if I'm going to try a new product. And it smells incredible too. 
too. So if you guys are looking for a new serum, I highly recommend trying this one out. You can get it at Sephora or summerfridays.com. Just hopped in the car. I want to go to like the container store and Target. I want to go to some places where I can find things to organize my cupboards with, like little bins or dividers. I'm looking for that kind of thing. So I just went and measured out my cupboards in my bathroom and my closet. I think I might go to the container store and see what they have there. I don't even know how to segue into this because I get awkward talking about this type of stuff. So Gabe surprised me with this car on Christmas Eve and um, I was not expecting it whatsoever. He actually filmed the whole thing. I don't think I would be talking about it if he didn't film it because I would never want to talk about something like this and have it come across the wrong way. I try to be very cautious of that type of thing and that's why I get like a little awkward. Um, it is a Tesla, which I'm so excited about. I've wanted and looked at electric cars for years. I thought it would be so cool one day to transition to an electric car. I definitely didn't think it would be this soon because I loved our Jeep. The car that we had before this one was a Jeep and it's what I got in 2017. It was my first car when I moved to the States. Yeah, I guess I just wasn't expecting us to sell that car this soon. I thought maybe in a year or like sometime next year or the year after. We did test drive two different types of cars um, just to see how they felt, if we liked them on the inside, how they drove. We test drove a Tesla Model Y a few weeks ago. We have been in a few Teslas. A few years ago we went in David Dobrik's Tesla which was so random and then we've also been in Bobby's. Our friend Bobby um, got a Tesla. I feel like I'm rambling so long story short we test drove a Tesla and I loved it. I couldn't stop talking about it. So I thought okay like in a year or two when we decide to upgrade our Jeep, we'll probably get a Tesla. I am so, so grateful and so excited. So I thought I'd show you guys some of the features if you've never seen a Tesla before or if you've never been in a Tesla. I just thought I'd show you some of the things because it's really cool. The toy box is something that I show everyone because it's just so funny. This is probably one of my favorite things and it's so silly, but basically it's a whoopee cushion. So you can choose what seat you want the whoopee cushion to go off and then I can click fart on demand. And then anytime I press this button in, it'll go off. Such a random part of the car. Romance is basically um, a fireplace. So if we're sitting in the car or having like a car date or something, we can turn that on, which is funny. Anyway, there's a lot of cool features in this car, not just like the games and stuff. I'm not gonna make this a whole car video, but it was a very cool surprise and I feel very grateful. I'm about to go into the container store. Just thought I'd show you my cute new mask. This is by the brand Silk, and yeah, it's just a full silk mask. Silk is meant to be a lot better for your skin and your hair. That's why a lot of people have silk pillowcases. That's it, just thought I'd show you this mask because um, it also feels really nice on my face. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm out of the container store. I think I spent an hour and a half in there, which is crazy, but it's so easy to get lost going down all the different aisles. The thing with the container store is that you'll find exactly what you need. Like, I found exact sizes of what I needed, but it's quite expensive, but it was quite successful. I'll show you guys what I got when I get home. I think I'm going to stop by Target on the way home because I need to grab a few things. Okay, I'm back home, and I just needed to pick up my vlog camera because this was so hilarious. Gabe is struggling on the couch. Do you want to just tell them why? You're struggling right now. No. <laughs> so, Gabe is trying out no coffee at the moment. I was getting like kind of crazy anxiety a few times and it happened to be right after I had coffee. And I was like, why don't I just test out not having coffee? Guys, this is day one. It's almost 6.30, he's on the couch. I've been wanting to fall asleep for the past like five hours. And we were just cuddling and he goes, oh baby, bought me a steak, but I'm literally too tired to get up and get and cook it. I'm ready to go to bed and sleep. <laughs> and it's just day one of no coffee. You ready to get up and cook a steak? Do you not just hear me? <laughs> All that moved was your hand. <laughs> Come on, Troy Bolton. Look at that hair. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Milo, go fetch. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I thought I would show you what I got from Target. So the main reason I ran in was because I wanted a razor. So I picked up this one from the men's section. I don't know about you, I prefer men's razors. I feel like that's a pretty popular thing. And then I wanted to go pick up a new notebook because 2021 is a couple days away. And I thought I want to sit down like over the next few days and make goals and stuff just for the new year. So I was like, 
I need a new notebook to do that. Yeah. This is the notebook that I picked up. I also picked up this 2021 agenda. I just liked the layout of this one. It had a good amount of space for the months and then a good amount of space for the weeks. Probably such a weird angle, but I'm gonna show you what I got from the container store and I wanna see how well they fit. I got quite a lot of stuff and whatever doesn't work, whatever doesn't fit, I'm just gonna go return it. So I got these for my bathroom, just my top drawer. Um, so I'm gonna try and organize that first. Hopefully these fit well. And then I got some more clear containers for this section. This is meant to be a makeup vanity. I don't use it as a makeup vanity yet because I don't have a stool. So this is what I have so far. This is my before. This is where I've been keeping my everyday makeup stuff, which will go in this drawer. This is the drawer that I was talking about. It has some room for um, makeup. So I'm going to take everything out of here and hopefully all of this stuff fits. Okay, it all worked really well. These fit perfectly. The only thing that I don't love is this. I couldn't find something that fit in here perfectly. I could keep this and just get some clear tape or something on the bottom to like hold it in place so it's not moving around. I'm going to put everything back in and then I'll show you what it looks like. All right, this is the after. I'm really happy with it. I think it all works really well. So I have hair tools, hair care, some cotton rounds, skincare, and then moisturizers and deodorant. Okay, I just did my makeup drawer and... I love it. It actually turned out really nice. I didn't get enough to fill the whole space. So I'm going to go back and see if they have something that will fill this space. What's really nice about these ones is that they have things on the bottom so they don't slide around at all. Okay, I just tried out some of the things that I got for my closet. So these are the first things. I wanted to have some jewelry organization in this drawer. I couldn't find anything that fit these dimensions perfectly. But these fit across like long ways really well. And then I got some things for this drawer which fit perfectly. This is just my bra and underwear drawer. So I'm definitely I'm gonna get some more of these. Isn't it crazy that it's almost 2021? I think I'm posting this video on New Year's Eve, which is so crazy. I thought I would do this little section of just talking about this year, talking about next year and any goals that I have. Obviously this year was so different for all of us. I am just excited to see what 2021 brings. I pray that travel is in the mix for 2021. I really miss Australia at the moment, but I know a lot of people are in the same boat too. So I want to say thank you to you guys though. Even though this year was different and difficult for everybody, Gabriel and I feel really grateful and really blessed that we have this job. It was a big blessing for us that we were able to keep working throughout this whole year. I know a lot of people weren't able to do that. So I just wanna say a huge thank you to you guys for supporting us and for watching our videos and for following us on social media. I haven't really sat down and thought about my goals for next year properly. I have some in my head, but I really want to sit down with my new notebook just off the top of my head. I know that I want to be more consistent with my health, with my working out. I want to make more healthy meals. I really enjoy finding healthy dessert recipes and dinner recipes. I always want to be going closer to God. I really want to just keep diving into the Bible and getting a better understanding of the Bible. I'm going to spend some time over the next couple days just really thinking over my goals and writing them down. But I would love to hear any goals that you guys have. So comment down below and let me know any goals that you have for 2021. I'd love to read through them. Anyway, I feel like I have rambled this entire vlog. I think I'm going to sign off here. It's almost 9 p.m. So I'm going to go make myself a tea, do some skincare and get into bed and read a book. But I hope you guys enjoyed watching this vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching me this year and subscribing to me this year. With that said, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, a great rest of your YouTube watching, whoever you're going to watch next. I'll see you in my next video, which will be in 2021.